What's up goodies? Welcome back to your channel and to my kitchen how to cook and I'm here to show you how to make scallop cake patty recipe fast, easy and simple and yes it is requested. Now if you are here watching me cooking for your very first time be sure you have subscribed. If you have not already go ahead and do so and after you get done doing that turn on your post notification settings. I know you're asking why. To always be reminded whenever your girl upload a brand new video. Now make we jump right into the recipe. In my eyes, I'm a star girl. Hey, she fit me. And she give me love plenty. Yeah, she authentic. This are the real thing. This are the plastic. You ready for cook? Let's cook. Now we are going to do this scallop cake patty recipe. Fast, easy, and simple. And this is the recipe that I did in my mukbang. If you have not already seen it, I will list that link down below. So go ahead and check out that video. Now we are getting ready to cook. Now the scallop that I'm using is the one that I bought in the Aldi supermarket. And I think I paid about $5.99 for that babe scallop right there. And it's very delicious. It's filled with flavor and you do have them in larger sizes. If you're going to use a large, larger size scallops, just make sure that you cut it into smaller pieces for sure. Okay. Now make it chunky, make it really, really tiny. Now to get started, we are going to go in and get our babe scallops and pour it out in a container. And we're going to fill this container with nothing but flavor. We're going to use our onions and bell peppers, any kind of a bell pepper that you have in your kitchen at this particular time, go ahead and use it. However, you want to make sure that you either put it in your food processor or in my choice, I just went ahead and chopped it in smaller pieces and dunked it alongside my base scallop in my container, right? Now, after I got done doing all of this and all of that, I'm going to add my seasoning and this is my season of choice. Onion powder, garlic powder, salt and black pepper. I did go in with a little bit of seafood seasoning. Any kind of a season you have, go ahead and use that. Now I did go in with some paprika and a little bit of chili powder and some chopped hives and you can substitute that hive for parsley dried parsley just go ahead and just dunk all that goodness up in there along with about one third cup of breadcrumbs and i did use seasoned breadcrumbs and one cup of all purpose flour only and everything that i'm using here for the recipe will be listed down in your description box okay so to that i went and added one large egg to the mix now all you have to do here is just go ahead and combine everything together just like i'm doing here now if you're still here watching me cooking this scallop patty make sure that you have subscribed goody don't just uh, watch me uh, cooking uh, every video don't just be a silent watcher go ahead and subscribe and after you get done doing that you go ahead and turn on your post notification spread the love with your friends as well all right now after you've done combining with your spoon you want to make sure that you have clean hands for this particular step go ahead and just combine all the mixers together just like if you were going to make dumplings right if you can make some dumpling or flour whatever just go ahead and combine that together with clean hands and it's going to come together and look just like that right that's so all it shouldn't be any less it shouldn't be liquidy and it shouldn't be too hard to the text it's just supposed to be nice and soft just like it is how you see i'm showing you right here with the spoon that's how your mixture needs to be now to get your your arm um, patties form go ahead with your clean on them of course Put some oil, oil of any choice. I'm using corn oil right here. And just massage it in the palm of your hand. After you get done doing that, you go ahead and choose the size of the patties that you want to make. Put it in your hand just like that. Clean hand. Clean and good. Clean and in a clean kitchen. And we are going to farm up them patties, right? Just like so. Simple. Because if you do the step without 
grease in your hands, the patty is going to stick and it's going to be an awesome mess. And we're not make mess in our kitchen. We want to make some nice shaped formed scallop patties. Fast, easy, and simple. And that is what it looks like. All right. Now I'm going to make sure I show you what I'm doing here. So you saw, you don't miss it. You know, you get it right the first time. We're going to do this once. We're going to do it right the first time. Whatever you do, just make sure that your hands are clean. Make sure that you put your oil in your hand. Make sure your dough is perfect. Make sure that your mixture is per is perfect when you are doing this. Now, if you're still here watching me cooking, make sure that you subscribe to my second channel, Life is Juliana, and the link for that channel will also be listed down in the description box. All my vegan goodies go over there and subscribe as there is no more vegan recipes up over here. So go over there and subscribe for all your mm, surprises upload. All right. So then when I get done, that is what my scallop patty looks like. And we are getting ready to fry. Now to fry these patties up, you want to make sure that your oil is set between medium heat. Medium heat meaning no higher than 350 degrees in heat. Now you want to go ahead and put your uh, scallop patties into the oil. I'm not going to put any into the middle because I want them all to fry at the same temperature and at the same color when I get done. As you know, the heat is highest in the middle of your pot, right? So we're going to skip the middle. Now we are going to fry these up for a total of 10 minutes or until they are nice crispy and golden brown all right golden brown now these patties you don't want to walk off and lift them and make them bun up you want to stay close by and watch these things transform honey transform and then after about five minutes of frying on medium heat 350 degrees in heat you're going to go and turn them over and kind of give it a little bit of help let's press it down a little bit yeah just like so let's press it down like so and you're going to allow it to fry evenly once again at the opposite side for five minutes it does take a total of 10 minutes to fry but sometimes i go ahead and just play around with the oil for another like minute just to make sure that the inside of my scallop patties um are fried through and through now do not do not add any baking powder to the mix because baking powder or self-rising flour is totally going to ruin your patties so do not add any baking powder and do not use any self-rising flour and once again goody all the amount for the recipe and everything that i use here will be listed down in a description box now that is perfect the color is just on core as you can see it is nice and crispy and the soft is soft and soggy soggy it's just nice and right now make sure that you're going to give this recipe a thumbs up all right make sure that you are sharing the love with everybody you come in contact with make sure you guys are staying safe make sure that your hands are washed at all times and keep that house nice and clean right now we are going to go ahead and remove these bad boys and place them on a paper towel and let that oil come out. You know, get out of the aisle, out, right? I don't know where it last type of thing this. But you want to get some of that oil out of that scallop patty. And we are going to fry our second batch. So you want to go ahead and just go ahead, put them in a circular motion, just like you did the first time. All right. And make them fry um for a 10 minutes until they are nice and golden like uh, that all right so everything i'll fry up on are done mm, like so and trust me them full of nothing but flavor so delicious you can eat this on a bun you could eat this with cheese and two slices of bread some mayo lettuce and tomatoes Oh, you could eat it just like that. You could dip it all like I did. I did it for the seafood board and I dipped it in my seafood sauce. And I will also list the seafood sauce. Uh, the recipe for that, I will list the link down in the description box. I will put listing thing, but girl, like I try to do all them thing, you know what I'm saying? But go ahead and remove your second batch 
as usual put it on your paper towel and allow it to soak up all the oil right now when i was done it was on the plate and i was ready to munch that in with some bell peppers because you know your girl loves some a bell pepper they was beautiful on the plate they was crispy they was filled with flavor and you can substitute the seasoning that i use for the recipe always make your kitchen your own mistake not every single recipe always make your kitchen your own if you don't like the season and the spices that i use for the recipe feel free to use it one but if you come out flour flour don't blame me now when you break into your scallop patties that is what it looks like that flavor from the scallop is everything everything trust me now thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch the re to watch the recipe and the videos right i hope you learned something new give the video a thumbs up share it with your friends and family tell them what's going on over here send them come bring them come after you do that tell me where you want to see me I cook next in my kitchen and as always from my kitchen to your kitchen enjoy